a fan sent us Papa John what seemed to be Papa John's personal Instagram account, and it seemed way t- far too good be to <laughs> far too good to be true. Uh huh. Um, I engaged in. Let's see. He posted a a story. Do we have these? Yes, on, it's the, me. But wait. He even made it. He's, a... No, he posted my memes. I sent him the unsliced pizza. Now it was announced today that my idea, right? That was your genius idea, Hila. And did it get to him? Absolutely, it did. That's. I was messaging him, and there was no response. And then I sent the unsliced pie. And then all of a sudden, who's this? Papa's in the house. Hey, Ethan, thanks for reaching out. This definitely sounds like something I could do. Unfortunately, it appears you're right. No reason for a pizza to be left, left unsliced rookie move. <laughs> Where's your show based out of, they asked. They? I think it's a PR firm. It might be Papa, but it's probably... Pr- I know it's... I know it's connected with Papa. Now, it was announced today that Papa John is divorcing his, his longtime wife, and I asked myself... My heart breaks for him. Yeah, I, I she, said, she's divorcing him. <sighs> oh. More accurate. I asked myself what hurt his heart more, his wife coming to him with divorce papers or this unsliced pizza? That's a tough one. Both on the same day. I mean, the man, a man is liable to, uh, you know. He must be having such a hard time. Hopefully he's got his son, his helper, his best friend, Bo, with him to help him through. Bro, Zach! I put it in Discord! But why are there so many of them? I see like five videos. Are it's they the all the same video? I okay. just spammed all right. it. I thought you guys cut them into different yeah. links. No. Why are you spam chatting us, Dan? Why are you spamming chat? To make sure that you saw it. <laughs> this, okay. is, this is will come. This is such a mess. All right, here we go. <laughs> in oh, so this is from Papa John's Instagram. Yes. Okay. Uh, Papa John Shaddy's defense. <laughs> we have gotten Papa John since he was ousted, and it's not as good. I swear True, to God, we got it. We it got wasn't it. even slapped. It wasn't even cut. The pizza sucked. It was like an F tier. When Papa John was in office with Bo in the house, that pizza was an A every time. Sometimes SS. <laughs> Zach, that's not related to our hey guys, to our story. Papa here saw how we're it's just his story. This was his thought story. Thought it'd be a great day to start. I thought it'd be a great day. Like so this is in response. I said, Papa, you need to make an Instagram video saying this is really your account because yeah, nobody cause buys it. Because we were afraid that we're being trolled or something. <laughs> but here's the thing. It was at 8 o'clock. It was at 5 o'clock Pacific time. And it was already pitch black outside because of the winter and daylight savings. He's on the East Coast. That means it was 8 o'clock over there. So it's later and presumably darker, right? So... What he sent me hey was a video of him at uh, late afternoon. It's still light out, so I was wondering. But maybe he's somewhere else. I don't know. He's in a. Uh, I was reading an article today. He's in a Louisiana or some shit like that. Kentucky. Kentucky. <laughs> you know what's funny? They said he he lives in like a nine million man- dollar mansion in Kentucky, and it's the most expensive house in the city he lives in, of Louisville or something. That's a starter house in L.A. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, this. Finally started my <laughs> own. Anyway, God, get it together, man. I... Yo, you want to host? No. Right. I can't from here. It's all your laptop, and we need you, Ethan. This you is want another cheese dog? Do you have any Ever smelling made. salts, <laughs> Ian? Always. <laughs> uh, okay, so Papa yeah. John sent me these videos in response to me asking him to verify his account. He didn't quite satisfy me because I said asked him to say, yes, this is really my account. What he did say is, I made an Instagram account. So while it's not 100% confirmed it's him, it, I don't see any it's other like Instagram account that he's on. 97%. Yeah. I would say 90, yeah, at least 97. On Twitter, thought it'd be a great day to start. The new Instagram account. Like I shared in the recent interview, there's some serious problems going on with Papa John's. When I founded the company, I had two fundamental principles. Make a great pizza and take care of your people. Mm. I'm concerned about the pizza and I'm really, really concerned about Papa John employees and the franchisees. Yeah. All right, to set the record straight, yes, I inspected 40 pizzas in 30 days, actually a few more. 
But I'm hearing these things that the product has changed, and when you're as passionate about quality as I am, you gotta check these things out. He's right. And I did. Oh, by the way, I don't just sweat garlic butter. It's in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's me. Now, I have a feeling the PR team is running this. It's way too slick it's, of an operation. Yeah. They cut the clip from the podcast like an hour after I talked to them. There's no way Papa John's that slick, unless Bo's with him. Bo might be right. in the house. Right? Yeah. That might be it. Because Bo is high-tech, low-pizza. And Papa's high-pizza, <laughs> low-tech, if you recall. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what is great is that it seems, if I can... Uh, just oh, this is the most recent conversation is that they may be interested in a Skype interview, having Papa oh. John call into our show, the H3 podcast, the greatest show ever, to defend himself, set the record straight, and talk about the pizza, mm -hmm. the people, and the ingredients here on the H3 podcast. What do you think about that? I think that would be fantastic. Fantastic, oh, fantastic. So we'll wait. I put him in touch with Dan. We're waiting for a touchdown here. Yeah, that was uh, <clears throat> ah, today after. Uh, ah, today ah, 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 um, oh, is it annoying when me? somebody clears their throat <laughs> into the microphone? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you uh, you told me um, or you told them to reach out to me yesterday, right? Mm. Uh, still waiting on the email. From he PTSD. just he is uh, getting a divorce. I know. Uh, yeah. We woke up right. to that news, so I feel like that might be a little bit of a distraction. Such so. a rough year for Papa. Rough to, yeah. First, the unsliced pizza. Second, the divorce. What's next? He's got this uh, lawsuit now. Oh, he's suing some ad agency. So Papa was ousted because he said N-word on this conference call, and he's accusing this marketing agency. What was the name of them? Laundry Service. Laundry. That sounds like so sketchy. Laundry? <laughs> Take out the laundry, huh? <laughs> They're fairly big uh, marketing agency. So they were apparently recording the call, and then the call got leaked the publications, uh, and that's how this whole story blew up. I think beyond that, they I think wow. he's claiming that they were the ones who encouraged him to have this diversity training call. Mm. He he thinks it's a whole setup. He, he wow. from his telling, it was like a whole conspiracy. They like egged him on into saying the n word and then tried <laughs> to extort him. But if they, whoa, I have no he's idea saying they how much of that without is real his, uh, knowledge. That is knowledge, and then and then uh, leaked it, and then a asked for money to to kill the story is what he's saying. Oh, they did. That's not I believe likely. he's saying that they said you need to pay us six million dollars, or we're taking this recording to the press. That sounds unlikely if they're that big of a firm. But this is this is straight from Papa. <laughs> but this I don't. I'm accusation. not calling. I'm not calling Papa a liar. But yeah. the the actually the pizza conspiracy is a fascinating one. He hires this marketing firm. They urge him to do this diversity training. They record it without him knowing. He ends up goofing it or saying the N-word, which they leak to publications to get him fired. Talk about Judas. This sounds crazy. I don't know. I'd love to learn more about the pizza. The, uh, I mean, he's Julius Caesar. Um, he's Julius Little Caesar. And... Um, <laughs> and CEO, what was the guy who replaced him? Bruno? The guy who replaced him Mark Anthony. was his best friend. Well, I don't know. He was his pick. <laughs> You're to... talking about Brutus? Not Bruno. Yeah. No, well, uh, yeah, I'm, I know. I fucked up. But the guy who replaced him as CEO was his hand picked option. Yeah, so they're Richie. saying he was Lil Richie, was <laughs> usurping the throne. And he is, he is uh, Bruto. He already left, too. And now we got. Mr. Arby's or... And now we have Sha Shaquille O'Neal in charge. <laughs> he has no pizza experience. <laughs> That's true. He doesn't. <laughs> he can go from roast beef to pizza. I mean, it's insane. <laughs> it's like, what am I going to go run uh, uh, a science channel? <laughs> Just because I have a YouTube channel doesn't mean I know how to run a science channel. You Okay. You can't go from roast beef to pizza. It's a different category. It's all in the food industry. It's a different category of food. I'm trying to tell you. I can't go run. I couldn't go, for example, run a makeup guru channel. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see that. That'd be well, maybe you could. Maybe I'll go be a gamer makeup uh, hybrid. Here's a new twist. <laughs> He's, I'm reading an article that just came out today about this lawsuit. 
And I guess he's now contending that the recordings <laughs> prove that he himself never used that word. Wow. I'd really? love to hear that he never said the N-word. That would be super scandalous if he never even said the N-word. Yeah. Yeah, the claim stems from a secret tape recording led by a laundry service in May of 2018, some details of which appeared in the story in Forbes, falsely reporting that Mr. Schnatter used a racial slur against African Americans. In truth, during the conference call, Mr. Schnatter actually expressed his disdain for racism and criticized a well-known figure who reportedly used racial slurs. The recording of the call proved Schnatter said that he himself never used that word, which contrasts sharply with the false narrative reported in Forbes. Well, Wait, I think he d- I think he admitted to, to saying the N word in context of saying that he hates that word. So I think he said I hate the Milne. <laughs> but he didn't I actually guess. say. I guess I mean it. I'm just this is a, this is a new article that's I want to hear that it. recording, frankly. Yeah, I mean I guess yeah. that would prove it one way or another, wouldn't it? So This is intriguing. Hmm. But either way, I do feel like Papa got played dirty cuz he would never said it with malice. He was only using it in reference of I mean, saying to people, you can't use that word, like, where's the line? You can't use the word in context of a conversation about it, okay? Can Huckleberry Finn use the N-word? People started (laughs) removing the N-word out of Huckleberry Finn. Tom Sawyer. It's it's a whole thing. They're not real people, though. But I'm saying, well, the person who wrote it was a real person. Yeah, I mean, It's a conversation about the word. true. But where do you draw the line? I get what you're saying. Can we not use the word in a conversation about the word? Um, it sounds like we should not, <clears throat> but I don't think that he should lose everything because of saying it in that context. It's important to, yeah, the context is important because while I agree, I think that I've grown a lot. I've matured since my last usage of the N-word on camera but live on the show. I think it was show. a combination of things because he expressed having a problem with pe- people kneeling in the That's game. true. That's yeah. what I was going to say. And then this came out. Yeah, so that doesn't look already good. had some like... issues with the African with the black yeah. community. Yes. Well, I I see your point because that doesn't look good in context. Of... But if he but if he can prove that he never actually said it, well, yeah. that's a it's huge not scandal. On the recording. Yeah, I mean that's that's because it changes if, the narrative. Completely. If I was trying to frame Papa, then I'd go after the racial thing because people will have no problem accepting that mm-hmm. after the kneeling thing, which I. I think he is totally out of hand. Yeah. I think they should kneel, they should roll, they should lay, they should do whatever they want. I support the right to kneel. That's what America's all about. And now look at his pizza sales. He complained that kneeling was hurting his pizza sales. Now look at his pizza sales. Now he got no sales. Big time down. They're sending out unsliced pizzas. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? It all started from him trying to clown on the kneelers. I'm gonna kneel on his grave, dude. When his pizza, when his, when his pizza dynasty is t- tumbled into this ocean, like a sandcastle. I got laughter backstage. Why aren't you laughing? Do you want him to come <laughs> on the show? <laughs> That's why. Yeah, I was I it a little bit. Well, what, can, what can I on? say? I mean, I love the guy. Well, you know, I love his pizza. I have pro- I have some problems with his politics. We're gonna work that out here. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. lie to him and be like, you know. The truth is, I love the pizza. Loved the pizza. The man, I disagree with politically. Okay. But that's okay because I'm here to learn the truth. The true untold story of Papa John Shatner. Shat- Schnatter. Yeah. Schnatter. 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 In that news report, they kept calling him Schnatter. Schnatter. They were saying it a, a third way. <laughs> Schnatter. <clears throat> when you Kirk, when you cook up perfect pizza and you take it out of the oven you go schnatter like you know when you hit a three pointer like a Kobe mm-hmm. Kobe when you take the perfect pizza out you go schnatter I think papa it's better mm, it doesn't roll off the tongue the same papa I like schnatter it's like Kobe two syllables both have two syllables just delete what I just said stay tuned uh yeah